so I think it's been a very exciting week in the UK for anyone that loves shopping <laughs> as much as I do because um, obviously all the shops have opened and that of course means a huge Primark haul uh, so stick around if you're interested in seeing what I picked up Welcome to my channel. I do plus size fashion, beauty and lifestyle videos uh, every Tuesday and Thursday um, and sometimes like this video there is a little cheeky weekend bonus video as well uh, so if that sounds like your cup of tea and uh, then hit that big red subscribe button down below uh, give this video a big thumbs up and let me know what your favorite piece was of this haul in the comments down below also, I uh, just want to mention I do have Instagram, TikTok and like to know it all under the same name at Becca Wren. Um, I'd really love it if you give me a little follow there. Um, I'm trying to post some really cute like um, outfits and stuff, especially now as we're allowed to go outside. <laughs> um, so yeah, super exciting just to have nicer weather and being able to eat in restaurants again and go to the shops. Ah, love it. Yeah. I'm in a good mood. <laughs> um, so obviously I am plus size elephant in the room. <laughs> um, I am a plus size person. I'm kind of probably a UK 24 and obviously Primark goes up to a size 20 slash 2XL. Um, but I do kind of like to hack the shop um, and see if there's any clothes there that I can fit into uh, despite being plus size. Um, I tend to have quite good luck. Um, with shopping, I've kind of like know what to look for. Definitely those stretchy pieces. Um, but obviously if you're not plus size, um, you'll still be able to have a good look at what is in store. Cause obviously they go all the way through to, you know, size six, I think, um, all the way up to size 20. So yeah, really good um, size range. Would love a plus size range though. They've just done a maternity range, um, which is great. Um, but you're only pregnant for nine months. Whereas I'm kind of, ghost um kind of <laughs> fat for life um, so yeah fine mark if you're watching <laughs> if you're watching um please do a plus size um collection that would be a dream mum's stuck outside so i've got to wait for her to come in do you want me to unlock the front door yeah okay i forgot about the chair oh so i've let mum in <laughs> Um, so yeah, I've picked up clothes, I've picked up shoes, I've picked up accessories, and I think like one beauty item, so yeah, let's get into it. Let's go uh, to the clothes first. Um, I will say the shop was like picked over. I went on a Thursday, and obviously they've been open since Monday, and um, yeah, very like low stock, all the, like, all the hot summer pieces had all like, gone if anyone has that um like periwinkle blue blazer jacket in a size 20 and you don't want it hit me up because i really want it um first up we've got this really really cute um white almost linen-esque um peplum top i just thought this was quite a classic um for the summer i've been trying to get into a bit more kind of white items because I think obviously you can dress them up um, and kind of add pops of colour and accessories with it really nice and I, I seem to have a bit of a lack of white in my wardrobe and um, so I found this in a size 20 I will say oh my god looking at it now it's absolutely filthy obviously it's been dropped on the floor okay <laughs> uh, um, so I think I'll probably be taking this back just because I don't want to wash it to find out if these stains do come out that's a bit sad um but anyway i'll still try it on for you guys um this is in a size 20 and it was 12 pounds and it does have a bit of stretch to it oh god this is so dirty oh there's a stain on the inside oh gosh starting off with a bang uh, <laughs> uh this is a hundred percent cotton i think i would maybe go in store and maybe see if they have um this a new one without all the staining 
Um, yeah, let's try this on and then deep clean ourselves afterwards. Um, so here is his first top and it, it does look quite cute, but it's really, really tight on my arms. And obviously the amount of dirt on this, I can't believe <laughs> there is just still out of shop floor. Like it's filthy. Obviously with it being white, it's gonna pick up any dirt, but mm, not very impressed. Um, I think if you've just got smaller arms, it would look fine. Um, it is going to be um, quite oversized. I think if you are a size 20, it's going to be quite loose fitting. Um, it is a little bit tight around um, my upper half, so it's probably more of a true to size um, item that you can't really get away with sizing. Um, but yeah, it's okay. It's just marred by the dirt, unfortunately. Then we have, oh my god, this has huge stains all over it too. Does it? Or is that a shadow? Is that a shadow or is that a dirty mark? Oh god. That's, I think the, the issue at the moment is people are just throwing stuff around um, the shop and it's just a bit chaotic. So I don't know. But this is a knitted tank top. I thought it was really, really cute, and I thought this would be amazing to tuck into some mum jeans. Um, obviously, it looks really, really small, but it is really, really stretchy. Um, it's in a really nice cream colour, and then it has these little, like, shell buttons. Um, I got this in a 2XL, which is a 22 to 24, and this was only £6. Um, I think it is a dirty mark. Oh, guys, I'm sorry about all the dirty clothes. Um, like when you're in store, like you're just kind of like panicked. Um, I'm a bit disappointed. Ah, okay, but just imagine it without the dirty marks. Um, yeah, let's see, let's see what this dirty top looks like. Uh, so guys, here is this top. Obviously, very very form fitting, but that is the style. Um, I think like tucked into some like baggier jeans, it will look really really nice. Um, we've discovered the mark on the back was actually just a crease and it was just opal. Op op <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> we've discovered that it was actually just a crease and not a mark, so don't need to take this one back. Um, it's really, really, really soft. Um, I think for £6, I think an absolute bargain. Um, I really can't wait to style it, especially in the kind of like summer. I love the little like shell buttons here. Um, and there is like loads more like stretch in it. So I think if you are um, bigger than me, you're still gonna have luck with this top. Like it's so, so stretchy. Um, I really love it. Thumbs up for this one. Oh, also, if you're interested in these jeans, these are the Yours uh, Mum jeans. Um, I said they're a bit more like a straight leg than a mum, um, but I really like them and they'll be linked in the description box down below. Um, then, I think this is something that isn't dirty. Oh my gosh. Um, it's a really nice boxy pink t-shirt. I love pink guys, as some of you probably know. And I just liked how kind of oversized this looked. I really liked the colour, kind of more of like a rosier, um, blushy tone. Um, this was in an extra large, which is an 18 to 20. This was only £4, which is amazing. Um, and it's made using, using sustainable cotton. Um, so obviously like the um, efforts that Primark are going to at the moment. Um, and this is... 100% cotton, so yeah, super breathable. Has a really nice kind of like stretch to it as well. Um, yeah, I just thought this was really cute and for like four pounds, can't go wrong. And also it's got a rolled sleeve, which I love. So yeah, I think this will hopefully be a keeper. Um, so here is this little pink t-shirt. Um, I think it is quite nicely sized. Um, I think it would be amazing if I get it in a 2XL, but I don't think they did it in a 2XL, I'm not sure. Um, it is... I think just like another inch or two would have been perfect length. Um, but it is quite nice, boxy size. It is um, really nice, soft material. And it feels like really nice quality. I um, also love the length of the sleeves being a little bit longer and it's kind of a bit more of a drop shoulder. Not really too much detail to show on you. It's just a very plain t-shirt, but here's a close up of the material. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Um, I really like the colour. It's very, very springy, very like 
pastel pop. So yeah, it's cute. <laughs> then we have something which is a bit of a riff. I have no idea how this is gonna look on me. Um, but we've got this mint green puffball dress. I love mint green sage this season. I think I've said it in like every video recently, but sage seems to be the color of spring this year. So I saw this going in, um, like I think it was the first thing I saw and just had to pop it in my basket to give it a go. Um, managed to find this in a size 20 and this was only 13 pounds. Um, it's quite, it's just kind of like an A-line dress, but it has got like a puff ball hem. It's got really big poofy sleeves. And then just a little button here at the back on the neckline. Um, it is quite a creasy material. So I feel like I'm gonna have to really love it to keep it um, and obviously there's not a lot of shape so yeah interested to see if this will a fit me and b look nice on me i love the color they also did this in a white with little blue flowers over it but it was a slightly different material um but yeah i just had to go for the sage i just thought it was really pretty um so yeah let's try this one on oh let me tell you what it's made of let me tell you what it's made of Oh, it has got a lining that seems to be a bit of a jersey lining, so that's always promising. Um, oh my gosh, sorry guys, things really long. Um, so the exterior is 100% cotton, and the interior, the lining is 100% polyester. Um, so yeah, it's very interesting. I love the colour. Let's try it on. Um, so here is this brass and it's come up very, very short on me. Um, it does fit and like the lining is like stretchy underneath so it's not tight and constricting. Um, I just don't think it's a silhouette that really suits me. Um, I think it is a bit of fun and I think you are, if you are like an actual size 20, this is going to look completely different on you. It probably won't be as short um, and it'll probably actually be like maybe like slightly oversized on you. It's just not working on me, um, which is a shame because I really, really love the colour. Um, the outer exterior is 100% cotton, so this is going to, I think, crease like crazy. Um, it's very short from behind. Um, I definitely have to wear like leggings with this because I don't think it's even long enough for like tights. Or if you're into kind of like the bike short trend, bike, bike short trend, <laughs> um, maybe you could like um make it look quite like rock rock and roll <laughs> you could like wear biker shorts with it and maybe some like black chunky boots because obviously like you could have that kind of a juxtaposition of like the pastel color and like the bike that could look quite cool but yeah for what i wanted it for it's not really working for me which is a shame but yeah if you're on a size 20 i think it would look very different and maybe give it a go and would it be a Primark haul without PJs? Oh my God, Primark PJs are like my favorite thing. They're so affordable and they're like really, really comfy. Um, so I found this pair. Um, they had loads of different like variations, so like shorts, trousers, uh, dressing gown, long sleeve top, vest top, blah, blah, blah. My favorite is always long trouser type pajama pants and like, the t-shirt type version. Um, God, I'm gonna give my game away here if anyone from work's watching. But I like this top because it doesn't look like pajamas, but I can wear them as pajamas on Zoom. <laughs> I have another pair of Primark pajamas that doesn't, they don't, like the top doesn't look like pajamas. Um, and I wear them all the time because they're just comfy. Um, so yeah, really, really love this set. Love the navy, love the print. Um, the bottoms were eight pounds and the top was six pounds. So that's 14 pounds for the set. A little bit more expensive um, than some of the other sets that are like 10 pound, but um, I thought the quality of this one was a little bit nicer. Like for instance, it does have little pockets in the pajama bottoms um and they're like nice and jersey uh, they only had extra large but i think obviously because they are jersey and stretchy these should fit just fine um i've been struggling to honestly find 2xl in the pajama section recently which is really sad but never mind um i think these will look really cute on though 
Um, so here are these PJs and they're literally perfect for what I want. They're just really, really comfy like jersey PJs. Uh, they are a little bit tinny, but I don't really mind that. Um, the PJ bottoms are really, really long. Um, I'm five six in there, but you could just like hold them up and they can go under my boobs. But to be honest, like I'm fine with these because they're just obviously for lounging around the house. Super, super comfy and stretchy. Um, just what I like in a prime up pajama. Um, also pockets in the pajama pants, which I really, really like. Like this is literally like what I went in for. Um, as a close up of the print. Like pretty flowers and stuff would have maybe like to have seen like a little bit more print on the top and um, maybe like a pocket or something would have been cute maybe um but yeah i really like these pj set so i'm definitely keeping it really soft and comfy and then we have another cute little top i loved this color i'm hoping this one isn't dirty no i don't think we've got any dirty marks on this one um this oh my god we do we actually do, guys. Oh my god, what the hell? Or is that just the light? No. What on earth? Guys, all I'm gonna suggest is double check your items before checking out. <sighs> anyway, um, so if we forget that, another dirty mug. Um, I feel like it's so small though, I feel like I could um get that one out if i decide to keep this because i do really like this i love the color it's definitely different from that dress this has a bit more kind of like yellow in it um mum says it kind of looks quite pistachio it also looks quite high end like it looks like a linen um which i really liked um and obviously peplum super flattering and just these really cute little tie details um this was an extra large couldn't find it in a 2x um, and this was only six pounds, which is super, super reasonable, I think. Um, love this kind of like frilly detail here as well. Um, this is 55% viscose and 45% polyamide, which I'm super surprised about because it feels like a, a linen or a cotton. Um, I just think super, super pretty for spring. Um, and I think that little mark would come out in the wash. And it's on the back so we get away with that but yeah guys definitely double check your items because i've never had so many dirty items from primark before Ooh. um so here is this top and i really love the color i think it's really fresh and like yeah it's just like i feel like i match the kitchen <laughs> um it's really really comfortable i would say obviously like this is an extra large so it's an 18 to 20 so it's a bit more kind of snug on me um definitely a, a little bit tight on the top um i think a 2xl again <laughs> would have been perfect but i can get away with this um love the peplum because obviously it's super super flattering and there's definitely a bit of give in the material um I think that little tiny stain on the back as well would like wash out. Um, nice V neckline, really pretty. Um, and obviously like the little knot details on the shoulders. Here's a close up of the material. It's a bit linen like, um, really pretty. And then obviously you have this little like, little get tiny gather here. I think this would be great um, for the summer, obviously. Nice little sleeveless numbers and it's really cute with jeans or with um, shorts. So yeah, cute. Um, so last two clothing items are the same but in different colours. Um, I found these on a bit of a back shelf. Um, kind of like a, cause you know how they have these kind of like sections for like new stuff. These were like on the wall, you know, when it's stuff that's like, I don't know, not old, but I feel like you find the best stuff that's not actually like out and highlighted. I absolutely love these t-shirts. They're kind of super plain in this kind of like knitted cotton with this gorgeous like knotty twist in them. I love these t-shirts. Um, they have got quite a lot of fluff over them at the moment, so I just need to like pick all the fluff off. Um, but they are made with um, organic cotton, which is 
really really cool um these are only five pounds each and i managed to find them in a 2xl and they're also like really like nice and stretchy they just seem like something you'd pick up in like MS or next or even like zara but oh noisy van um uh something you'd pick up in a shop like way more expensive love this kind of like nudie color i also bought some shoes that match um so like stick around if you want to see them um but obviously the black it's just like a classic and i really wanted to get a black t-shirt that had just something a little bit extra about it and obviously it's super super subtle but it's just like a nice little design detail um quite sophisticated um yeah, I lo I think these are my favourite find of the haul. It's funny that a little simple t-shirt can be your favourite, but yeah, I just really, really like them. Um, I think they are 100% cotton. Um, oh, they're so nice. I can't wait to wear them. Um, oh, 55% cotton and 45% polyester. Well, I really like this fabric, whatever it is. Nice and stretchy, feels really nice and cool on. Um, yeah let's try them on um so here is this top and it's definitely i think one of my favorite things in the haul and um, it's just super super simple it's a really great length and also there's still like a lot of room in the top um i just think it's really flattering love this little kind of like not detail just something really different i think this outfit with some shoes that i'm going to show you would just look really really nice um yeah and it just looks like something you wouldn't get in Primark. Just looks a little bit more elevated, a little, a little bit fancier to be honest. Um, for five pounds, stunning. This is a definite keep. I'm gonna try and do one of those TikTok transitions now where I show you the next top. Fingers crossed it works. Ah. <laughs> um, so this is the black one. Um, just as comfortable and as nice as the beige one. Um, really like the knot detail just here just here can you see um just again like a really nice um length that just kind of like covers where you want it to really like stretchy and comfortable um I, you know i don't actually think i own a black t-shirt um and i really like this because it's a little bit different and it's not just like plain it's like Add in a little something something and again for five pounds with organic, organic cotton yeah it's a win-win big thumbs up and now on to all the shoes and accessories that i picked up oh my god guys the shoe section in primark is seriously dangerous um yeah i really like primark's shoe section um, I also really like their slippers. Um, so I get quite cold feet, but then when my feet are warm, this is a bit TMI, but they get really sweaty. Um, and I've had an issue with like really expensive slippers um, that like you can't wash. So maybe they like UGG type slippers where they're like a fur or they're fell or they're like leather or suede. You can't put them in the um, washing machine. So I've like had to throw away some really expensive slippers, literally like only wearing them for like a month, if that, before they get too stinky. It's just, it is, it is what it is at the end of the day. I just have so many feet. Um, so basically I've come to the realization that my slippers have to be machine washable. Um, and to be honest, I like to, wa I like to wash my slippers every week. Um, cause also at the end of the day, like if you wash, like to be honest, I'd rather wash them every day, but I don't wear slippers every day anyway. Um, this is just, this is a long discussion about my feet and slippers. Uh, so I just picked up two pairs of slipper socks that are more slippery than they are socky. Um, I love these. So easy to put on, really, really easy to wash. Um, perfect. And they're two pounds. Oh my gosh. And these will last me so much longer than those other really expensive ones so lesson learned just go for anything machine washable um yeah so i'm happy i finally got these because literally i've been waiting to buy more pairs of these um because i've only got one pair at the moment that i have to like wait to come out of the washing machine so <laughs> i'm very excited to have some that i can put in my slipper rotation 
Um, also guys, I'm not gonna try on the shoes. Um, I know a couple of you have asked for a wide fit shoe haul and it is coming. Um, I'm just waiting for a pedicure. <laughs> My feet are really uh, gross at the moment. <laughs> And uh, basically, I don't want to like do anything to them before the pedicure because then that defeats the object of the pedicure. Um, but I want my tootsies to look nice for you guys. So the video is coming, but I'm not going to be trying these shoes on, but I will tell you how they fit. Um, so every year <laughs> I get a pair of these specific espadrilles. I really like the black and beige stripe. Um, they kind of go with everything. But these are like my bin shoes. Um, these are the shoes I go out everywhere in, to the shop, to the supermarket, which is also a shop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just throw on shoes that I don't need to put socks on. Like I just put, whack these on and just nip out really, really quickly. Um, but I have to buy a new pair every year just because like they wear out like really, really quickly, but they're only four pounds and they're literally perfect for what I want them for. Um, but I never got to buy a new pair last year. So my last pair, I had to throw away about a month ago and they were in a bad state, guys. They were like falling apart, like a situation. But I would never say to my mum, I was like, I wish I never threw them away because like, I don't know what to wear to the supermarket now. I have to put tops on, trainers on or boots on. It's just such like a palaver to go to Tesco's. <laughs> oh, these are first world problems. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so these are great for that situation. I buy a pair every year. And um, so these are a pair of espadrilles that I thought would go really nicely with that beige top. Um, they're really, really cute. Um, I loved the kind of sling back design um, and I loved like the cream and beige stripe. Um, I just thought these looked really nice and really different. And they looked actually like quite premium looking i don't know why i do get a size eight in primark i do feel like that's the best especially with like espadrilles because i am wide foot um i always just go a size up um, i haven't tried these on yet though so um i'll let you know in the description box if they fit um i am wide fit but i'm not like wide wide fit um, I know some people um, in the plus class community have like much wider feet than I do. Um, I tend to be able to fit into wide feet. I just have high arches. That is m the bane of my life on my high arches. Um, so that's my issue. Um, I'm kind of between wide fit and regular fit. Um, so I can fit into like shoes. I sometimes just have to like size up a little bit. Um, but yeah, these are really, really cute. These are only six pounds. And again, really just good like slip on shoes. We love a little slip on moment. Uh, then I picked these up in a size seven because I didn't have an eight and I just thought they were really, really cute. Um, these really nice rosy fong sandals. I love a fong sandal because again, that little bar that they put across your tootsies never fits my fat foot. Um, and these like bands are like stretchy for you to put on your foot. I know I'll have a good time putting these on. I'm actually, I actually love Primark sandals um, and I will wear them until they break. Um, I just find them comfortable and I don't know why because they are, well they are, <laughs> they're quite cheap. <laughs> um, so I don't know why I find them so comfy. Um, but I do like kind of like fong flip flop type things. Like I don't have an issue with rubbing. Um, on my toe. I know some people are, like really sensitive in that area. Um, but I've never had, oh my God, knock on wood, um, <laughs> that I don't have that issue. Um, they did this in so many colors. And that was my biggest issue. Like there's another pair of shoes in here as well that like I wanted it in every color. And I was like, I can't, I can't buy all of these. Um, so yeah, I got these in a size seven, eight pounds. Um, really really cute um these will definitely fit me fine um here's a little close-up um and I, yeah i love this like rosy pinky color it will go with so much in my wardrobe so yeah happy to add this to my summer collection then i got these which are probably my favorite shoes that i got from primark um I, to be honest if i'm going to be taking some of this stuff back because of like 
the dirty marks i think i'm gonna pick these up in the yellow as well i put the yellow ones back the other day because i was like i don't need two pairs of the same shoes in a different color but i think i do to be honest um these fit really really nicely um especially being the kind of shoe that they are this part is stretchy so it's really good for my high arches um, and this just fits my foot perfectly got these in a size eight and they were eight pounds they did this in nude like a sunflower yellow and the black i did pick up the black because i think i will wear the black a lot more but they really comfortable on they're they're really designer-esque looking um i wish they had them in leather like i would pay 25 pound 30 pound for these any day in leather um because i think i'm gonna wear these a lot um i'm hoping they've got these in the yellow when i do go back and return stuff i might go back and return stuff tonight actually <laughs> um but yeah i just love the square um toe as well i just think they're really stylish these did fit me i tried them on um already and yeah size eight was perfect for me if you have a wide foot but not really wide i'd say you'll still be in good stead for these um they might actually be too wide for like most people maybe because obviously like the only thing supporting you are these straps i don't know try them on <laughs> but they're so so cute i love them um yeah really want to get those yellow ones um and then finally guys we got some accessories and makeup -y bits um I didn't go too crazy, um, just because I'd gone crazy everywhere else. Um, but I did pick up these um, really slim scrunchies. Basically, I wear these slip 100% silk scrunchies, and they're really expensive. They're like about five pounds each. Um, but I, I literally wear them every day and I feel like they've really helped my hair not get too tangled in the hairband. Um, but I just thought I would try Primarchs because they're £2 for six. Obviously not 100% silk, but a silky type material. Loved the shades. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want an update. <laughs> love, love, love the colours. Um, yeah we'll see um i might pop one in actually when we do the try on so you can see the clothes a bit better and i can see how the hair bands work but i love these colors they're so pretty i can't stop like staring at them two pound for six and they had loads of other um kind of colorways as well that was just the one that spoke to me because it's spring um then also got these really gorgeous little clippies no idea what i'm gonna do with them to be honest I just thought they were absolutely stunning. You've got like a peachy, creamy one at the top, a gold sparkle, and then this one with like pearlescent stripes. Just looked really, really nice. And that was two pounds as well. Um, I just thought it kind of went with all the vibes that I was buying. Love that. Um, and then finally, um, I got this Malibu, <laughs> Malibu um, Cooling Hydrating Mist Coconut Fragrance. So last year they did a pineapple, a watermelon and a coconut fix plus dupe. And that is basically what this is. And if I'm honest, I'm just going to buy these whenever I see them because they do sell out really quickly. There was only two left. I only picked up one um, so that other people could um, also get their hands on one. <laughs> Otherwise I'd be like, I'll take all of you, thank you. Um, they're really like... Are they little bubbles or little? I think they're little bubbles. I thought they were little glitters to start with. Um, but this is basically a Fix Plus dupe. Um, Fix Plus now do all the different fragrances as well now, and I find this incredibly, incredibly similar. Um, I think I'll actually have a look at the ingredients and compare. This is three pound fifty. I think Fix Plus is like twenty two fifty. Um, Obviously, you can't back to Mac the bottles, but um, for the same price, you could buy this and a new lipstick anyway. So, <laughs> um, if you see them and you're a back, uh, back to Mac fan, if you see them and you're a Mac Fix Plus fan, grab it, pick it up, and see if you like it because it's a hell of a saving if you do swap out. I use this type of spray every day to do my makeup. Um, I use it to wet my eyeshadows. Um, and I use it to kind of like de-powder my powders. It just kind of makes your powders like 
settle onto your face so you don't look like really cakey. It kind of just like makes everything look a lot more natural. Um, it's not a, it's not, it's not a long lasting. It's not like a makeup, not makeup, Urban Decay setting spray. It doesn't make your makeup last. It makes your makeup look more natural and what I personally think looks better. Um, so yeah, £3.50, absolutely love it. So many different things you can, you can even just use this throughout the day just to like refresh your face. Or maybe if you're like hot at night, you can just like spritz yourself. I don't know. There's lots of things you can do with this. Uh, and for £3.50, it's also got, I say the same pump and the same spray as MAC. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with Primark. Um, I don't know if you're like buying these from like MAC and like charging less for them. I don't know. But these are great. I'm going on about this for way too long. I'm going to stop talking about it now. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little, little, huge um, Primark haul. I'm a little bit gutted about the art items being dirty. So definitely going to be taking those back. Um, but then I'm hoping that you can pick up those yellow shoes. Um, I think um, I would say... <sighs> I'd say give it a little while before you go to Primark, if I'm honest. It was absolutely manic. I had to wait 25 minutes to get into the shop to do this haul. So who knows how long I'm gonna take to get into return, <laughs> return the bits and bobs. Um, but a lot of stuff was out of stock. A lot of the shelves were empty in my Primark. People were going crazy. Like the woman was saying that um, at the till, the, the most, her biggest um, bill was like 280 pounds, like everyone was going crazy. Um, yeah, and there wasn't too many big sizes left. I would honestly just give it a couple of weeks and wait for things to settle down and for them to replenish their stock. Um, but obviously if you do see anything you do like, maybe head down there and pick it up for yourself. But yeah, be prepared to wait and uh, <laughs> yeah uh let me know what your favorite piece was down below um i hope you're having a uh wonderful and safe uh what do they call this is like tier two road map out of lockdown i don't know what stage are. oh stage stage two we're we at stage two i don't know <laughs> anyway i'm rambling so <laughs> Um, yeah, I hope you're all staying safe and well, um, and I'll catch you later. Bye!